all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber god bless you i really appreciate much your love and your support but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe please please click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video guys i've got some flu so bear with my voice it's not all that that perfect <laughs> So dear beautiful friends, in our today's video, we are going to be having a story time of a Congolese lady by the name of Rebecca, a single mother of one who found love on online dating apps with a Dutch guy from the Netherlands. His name is Werner. Guys, today's story is going to be very, very interesting, full of surprises, because when I was listening to this story, I could laugh, and then the next minute I'm like, girl, I'm so sorry. <laughs> then I smile again. That is how the story is. So you are going to enjoy it very, very much. You know, guys, I'm always protective to you, my black ladies, who are on online dating apps searching for love, but when it comes to a black lady who is a single mother, I am over protective. Even I remember one time I was advising a lady and she told me a guy doesn't even ask of her kid. Then I was like, girl, if that guy is not interested in your kid, better end that relationship. That is how I am over protective when it comes to a single mother because i know when you go wrong it's not going to cost only you it's gonna cost even your kid so as a single mother who is on online dating apps searching for love you are going to learn a lot of things that will help you in your search not only for single mothers guys <laughs> even if you are not a mother yet you will enjoy this video you will learn a lot if you are on online dating apps searching for love especially for you my black african queens who are interested in interracial dating so without wasting much of your time let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story so dear friends i've known rebecca for two years now we met each other here on youtube actually guys she is a content creator her youtube channel name is rebecca's and fam she is also on tiktok her tiktok account name is rebecca's so please fam support our sister our congolese sister i know i've got lots of congolese ladies here on my channel she has got very interesting content i am sure you are going to enjoy her content so what i wanted to tell you is that me knowing rebecca for two years i had no idea of what she went through to where she is now you know i could see her on youtube on instagram and be like wow she's so blessed wow she's so lucky but yo listening to the whole story i just say thank you lord because she has been through a lot and yes guys we all come from somewhere <laughs> you know my story too where i came from so we are going to be starting rebecca's story from where she started or where she came from before joining online dating apps we know she is a single mother let's find out was she dating a congolese guy what happened in her past love relationship experience rebecca tells us yes she was in a love relationship before with a congolese guy they met at secondary school two years before they finished secondary school they started dating she was so much in love with that guy because he was the first guy in her life first love <laughs> so because everything was going super great she shared her goodies <laughs> and after sharing the goodies towards the end of secondary school rebecca got pregnant when she got pregnant nothing changed at all they kept on loving each other their relationship growing stronger 
every single day and then her pregnancy came to an end she got a very beautiful baby girl the guy was so so happy and then after two years they got engaged rebecca was over the moon so so happy and then they started talking about getting married so they had really good good plans for their future. Rebecca was so relaxed in her relationship, kept on taking care of her baby girl, being a good fiancé. Everything kept on going well, but started hearing some rumors that the fiancé is cheating on her with another lady. Tells us couldn't confront the fiancé to ask him that I've heard you are cheating on me with another lady. And also tells us she's someone who don't believe in something before she confirms, which is the right thing, guys. So she left it like that as rumors never cared. And after five years, the family of the fiancé relocated to France and the fiancé left Rebecca in Congo with her baby girl. So when this guy relocated to France, it's not that their relationship ended. No, it kept on because they still had plans to get married. But him being there, Rebecca kept on getting rumors that this guy has got another lady. So she had to find out the truth. And yes, God is good. She found out the truth. It was true, this guy had left a pregnant girlfriend in Congo, at the same time lying to Rebecca. She got very, very hurt and decided to call the guy, tell him, you know what, it's over between us. Thank you for lying to me. I wish you luck in your life. It ended like that and Rebecca tells us it was very easy for her to end that relationship because the boyfriend was abroad if the guy was in Congo, maybe it could have been another story. And that is how Rebecca's first love relationship went. And that's why she was a single mother. So guys, after Rebecca ended the relationship with the baby daddy, tried to date some Congolese men, black men, but at the same time in the relationship could have fear to be stabbed in the back. Couldn't see the future with a black man because her trust was gone guys things were here <laughs> so she told herself no i better stay single and maybe try another race but her saying another race doesn't mean she was like i want only a white guy let's say from europe no for her she was ready to date whether a european guy whether a guy from india whether from pakistan whether a chinese guy it didn't matter but not a black man if you are a black man watching this it's not that all black men are bad exist good black men i have a very beautiful online dating success story coming soon of a black woman and a black man who met on online dating apps it's gonna be very very juicy so not all black men are bad but when these ladies tell their stories and be like i am done with black men it's due to their love relationship experience that is why they say like that and even me guys if you remember on how we met story of me and my husband i told you that i was done 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 with black men because they reached me here <laughs> so that is the situation rebecca was in and decided to try other races so yes she decided to try other races but tells us in congo at that time interracial couples were very rare to see <laughs> so it was so hard for her to come across a white guy or that Chinese guy <laughs> who was interested in a black lady like Rebecca a single mother but kept on believing kept on hoping that she's gonna find the guy who will fall in love with her in Congo <laughs> and guys you know what Faith is so powerful. So time went by, Rebecca kept on with her life, not dating any black guy, and then came across a Nigerian lady, became friends, came to find out that Nigerian lady was married to a white guy. That white guy was an expatriate 
in Congo. So guys, that white man, he was a Dutch guy from the Netherlands, the husband to that Nigerian girl who is a friend to Rebecca. So Rebecca and that Nigerian girl, they kept on with their friendship and eventually Rebecca told her, you know what, I am so interested in dating a guy who is not my own race. So after talking to that Nigerian girl, she went and talked to the husband about Rebecca's desires. <laughs> so the guy told the wife that I have a friend who is in the Netherlands and he is very single. If it is okay with your friend, we will connect her with my friend. So that Nigerian girl told Rebecca what the husband said. When Rebecca heard the news, she was very, very happy. And yes, from there, they connected them, started chatting. So guys, with this, all you ladies that have been asking connect me or you have been going through let's say instagram facebook paying money for people to connect you i want you right now to open <laughs> your ears or give me your ears and open your eyes because from this experience you are going to learn a lot about someone connecting you to a white guy yes i was connected to but i thank god it went well so guys let's continue with the story they got connected what happened next so rebecca tells us after being connected they started chatting everything was very very good even that dutch guy went to congo to see rebecca stayed there for three weeks and then returned to the netherlands again came to congo for another three weeks stayed with rebecca all was super good the guy was so loving he was so caring very very understanding rebecca was so happy that finally she has found the one a man who truly loves her a man who truly understands her but you who is watching this video can you comment below what do you think will this relationship work or it's not gonna work <laughs> <laughs> let's continue guys so after that dutch guy visiting rebecca in congo two times stayed six weeks with her then told rebecca i want to invite you to the netherlands so that you can come here see my life you know and spend some time together rebecca tells us cause she had never traveled outside Congo, she was like, wow, this is a great opportunity to take. Yes, why not? I will come to visit you in the Netherlands. So friends, Rebecca started preparing herself and then applied for the visa, got the visa to go to the Netherlands. She was given three months, was so, so happy, but left her daughter in Congo, went to the Netherlands. When she arrived, the guy was at the airport, picked her, they went home, all was super super good the guy was so caring could take her out they even traveled to different countries because that guy really liked traveling and then returned to work while rebecca was still at his house so when this guy resumed to work rebecca started feeling very lonely missing her daughter her parents her friends and tells us when this guy returned to work he could work and work and work there was no time for her and then they started having misunderstandings they started fighting but for rebecca as a black african woman who has never dated a white guy thought maybe that is how interracial relationships are <laughs> You have to fight till you figure it out because you are from different continents, you are from different cultures, even raised differently. So for her, she was like, it's very, very normal to fight because we are an interracial couple. So friends, three months visa came to an end and Rebecca had to return to Congo. But tells us she was very insecure about that relationship if it's gonna work out or not so after arriving in congo stayed there for a while and then that dutch boyfriend invited her again 
to the Netherlands. But that invite wasn't just an invite of coming for one month or two months. No, he wanted her to relocate to the Netherlands with her daughter. So dear beautiful ladies that are watching this video, if you were Rebecca, put yourself in Rebecca's shoes. What could you have done? Could you have relocated to the Netherlands with your daughter? Whereby, back in your mind you know that you fought all those three months when you were there. Please write me in the comment section below. I would like to know. But for now, let us continue with the story and get to know Rebecca's decision. So guys, Rebecca tells us after that Dutch boyfriend invited her to relocate to the Netherlands with her daughter, she didn't have anyone to ask for an advice whether to go to the Netherlands or just remain in Congo. Because even that Nigerian lady who connected them contributed to their fights. Can you imagine, guys? That is why I've been advising you, be very, very careful. Someone is connecting you to a guy, but when you start chatting with that guy, observe the red flags. Because someone can just connect you just because you offered to pay and connect you to a criminal. There is a documentary I watched and I was like, oh my God. It ended in a very tragic way. There were two friends and then one of the friend connected the friend to the guy and later on the other lady came to discover that that guy that the friend connected her to was the ex-boyfriend but not just a simple ex-boyfriend no a toxic boyfriend aggressive boyfriend a criminal boyfriend a boyfriend that was stalking her so she decided to connect him to the friend so that she can get rid of of the stalker but the friend thought that oh my friend is good connected me to a guy she came to discover they were together later after getting married to him he became very toxic and to make matters worse guys that guy took the lives of the kids that lady heard can you imagine she was a single mother so she was talking crying saying that i don't know why my friend connected me to a man who has left a scar which will remain in my heart till i leave this world so i can understand rebecca saying that that nigerian connected them contributed to their fight that's why she didn't even ask her for an advice. So guys, Rebecca relocated to the Netherlands with her daughter, very excited, but back in her mind knew that maybe it might not work out. But because of the daughter, that's why she decided to relocate to the Netherlands. So arriving in the Netherlands tells us the first week that guy was super good. Then after that, it was hell because he started becoming very violent. Today, good, tomorrow, bad. It's like today you are with another person and tomorrow you are with another person. I talked about this in one of my videos where I told you to be very careful because on online dating apps, you can come across white men that are bipolar. They have got bipolar disease. So that Dutch guy had a bipolar disease. That is why today he could be so good, so nice, so kind. And then the next day, he is totally a very different person person he also had a drinking problem so things were really bad and then started telling rebecca i've been told black african women worship white men why is that you are not worshiping me you should start worshiping me <laughs> Rebecca was like, they lied to you. I'm not going to worship you. Don't expect me to be on your feet all the time worshiping you. And that's when everything started becoming very, very bad because that guy started beating her severely in front of her daughter. This is very, very sad, guys. If you are a single mother watching this, please, please, when you go to an online dating app to search for love, or you are out there in real life searching for love, please be very careful of the man you bring to your life. Because if that man is bad, it's not going to affect only you. It's also going to affect your daughter. Guys, there is nothing traumatizing for a kid to see her mother 
being beaten up it is very very traumatizing and it will always remain here in that kid's mind so guys their fights turned to war still social work people intervened and wanted to take her daughter because you know guys here in europe if a kid is in danger they are going to take that kid from that family. So Rebecca was warned by social work people that if you guys continue like this, we are going to take your daughter away. And Rebecca couldn't stand to see social work people taking her daughter away. So what she did, decided to end that relationship, got help, went out of that toxic relationship. And dear friends, if you remember my recent video, I told you guys, if you are chatting with a guy on online dating apps, ask this guy, he's a white guy, and tells you I'm interested in a black woman, ask him why a black woman? Because most of them, they are on online dating apps, but they've got their own ideas about black women. Like that guy thought that all black African women always told that they worship white men. So wanted a black African woman to worship him and treat that lady just like his own slave is very very sad we can see it from rebecca's story but trust me exist lots of white men on online dating apps who have got very bad motives to marry black african women so let's learn from this let's be very very careful i told you guys i don't invent things these things are real and that's why my channel is all about the real talk so after moving out of that toxic relationship, got her own apartment, found a job and put her daughter into a school, life kept on moving forward. Due to her past love relationship experience with that white guy, started having anxiety, had fear to date any man. And back in Congo, when her family came to find out of what happened with that Dutch guy, they hated white men. Yes, I can understand. So guys, you can see it is due to the experience people go through. That is why you find a lady saying, I don't want to date a white guy or I don't want to ever date a black man. <laughs> but I also told you that color does not matter. How the guy treats you matters so, so much. How he behaves towards you matters a lot and here <laughs> also matters. So when Rebecca started working, Rebecca found a friend who was a black lady too. But this friend this time was a good one. So as they kept on being friends and cause Rebecca couldn't go out to look for men, remember she is a single mother. So she didn't have all that time by herself to go out to meet men, you know, on a dinner date. <laughs> So this friend advised her to join online dating apps. Rebecca never heard of online dating apps. She was like, what's that? <laughs> then the friend told her it's like Facebook, you register, but it's only to search for men. Then Rebecca told the friend, you know what? For now, I am not ready to date any man. I came from hell, so it is very difficult for me to trust a guy. Then a friend told her, okay, if that's the case, I'm going to register on your behalf and chat with these guys. If everything goes well, I am going to let you know. So Rebecca thought that friend was joking, but she wasn't joking at all. And cause they were friends, she had her photos. So went, set her profile on a dating app that I'm going to be sharing with you before I end this video. Cause that is where Rebecca found the one who is her husband right now. So that friend started chatting with men and time passed, <laughs> then came to Rebecca, told her, you know what girl, I set a profile and you have got lots of men interested in you. They want to talk to you. They want to meet you. Rebecca was like, ah, really? <laughs> She said yes. So a friend told her, I cannot keep on 
pretending to be you you have to take over and chat with these guys and you know i can relate i've been helping ladies on online dating apps sometimes not all the times i log in into the accounts of these ladies that are searching for love i chat a bit try to help around but again tell the lady please come and take over <laughs> even last time i remember i got a guy for a lady and then we were chatting i told the lady please come start chatting with this guy because when he starts to ask like personal personal questions <laughs> it's gonna be taking me long to respond because i have to go ask then respond and if he is a serious guy he might sense something is wrong <laughs> so guys you have to take over your account no matter i am here to help you you just come to ask me questions then i help you around because i have good experience on online dating apps but me taking over your account completely that's not gonna happen and if i tell you pay me i take over your account then i'm a liar because i'm a mother i have a youtube channel i work i have people I talk to on Instagram it's too much for me so I'm going to take your money and then I'm not going to go to that account for a month or two months what will be that <laughs> that is why I'm always honest with you I tell you what I'm capable of doing you know the truth set someone free so that friend of Rebecca told Rebecca take over your account and that is how it went Rebecca had to take over her online dating account and started chatting with those men that were writing to her so Rebecca's online dating account was set by a friend in 2011 so Rebecca kept on chatting with these guys but tells us most of them were just players so she could eliminate a lot came across guys who were like they're looking for a slave they were looking for a master <laughs> you know those weird weird guys that you too have come across on online dating apps so rebecca came across those and also remembers <laughs> one of the funniest moments on online dating apps came a guy he was american and this guy was like hello you are so beautiful and the way you are you'll be a good mother to my kids <laughs> so i'm going to go straight to the point i am married but i am looking for a woman to give me kids because me and my wife we can't have kids so i'm just looking for a baby mama if you're going to be with me you will only be my baby mama it's not that i'm going to leave my wife no i love my wife very very much rebecca laughed so hard i was like oh my god these dating sites <laughs> have got crazy people told the guy no i am not ready to be your baby mama and it ended like that so guys rebecca kept on searching for the right guy on that online dating site and then one day received a very long message the message was so nice was so respectful and after Rebecca going through that message she was like wow he seems like a good guy went through his profile everything was good eventually decided to respond to him and that's when they started chatting they chatted for a while and then that guy told her can we please meet in in person rebecca was so scared to meet in person but again had to do it <laughs> they decided to go to a bar cafe for that first time so she tells us it was so nice to meet him it was in the evening they talked and talked and talked everything was super super good then decided to start dating but rebecca told him i'm coming from a very toxic relationship so i would like to take things slow the guy was like take all the time that you want i understand you oh my god rebecca felt so good and at peace with that guy so they kept on dating and everything was going very great rebecca felt so comfortable with the guy because he was treating her very very nicely and decided to give her goodies <laughs> So after giving the goodies, we have a fro cinema. 
<laughs> yes, after giving her goodies, the guy was like, okay, you know what? I want to tell you something. Then Rebecca said, okay, no problem. You tell me. <laughs> The guy told her, I am married and I'm going through a divorce. Rebecca was so angry, told him, why didn't you tell me before? The guy was like, but on my profile, I wrote separated. So for Rebecca, couldn't differentiate between separation and divorce. So thought, if a guy is separated, obviously he is divorced. But no guys, even you who is online dating apps searching for love, if you come across a profile of a guy written separated, doesn't mean a guy is divorced. That guy by law is still legally married he is a married guy <laughs> yes that is how it is yes they are separated living different houses but they are still husband and wife according to the law yeah so rebecca was in a shock but the guy told her don't worry i am going to marry you as soon as i get my divorce so rebecca was okay and agreed to that kept on dating that guy but to you who is watching this video do you think it was a good idea for Rebecca to keep on dating that guy that told her he is going through a divorce, will marry her once he gets his divorce. <laughs> Please let me know in the comment section. So they kept on dating and Rebecca tells us there was nothing to complain about that guy. He could spoil her so much, take her out, buy her good things everything she wanted the guy could give to her and to add on that he was super romantic because every week that guy could send different very beautiful bouquet of flowers to her house oh my god she felt loved and very very cared so they kept on dating everything going super good and after one year of dating yes that guy got his divorce but you're going to be very very surprised because after getting his divorce the guy changed completely he didn't want to talk anymore about marriage <laughs> never wanted to marry Rebecca started telling Rebecca oh you want to marry me because of my money and Rebecca tells us maybe it's due to what he went through in the divorce cause they had to divide <laughs> their properties so he thought maybe getting married to Rebecca Rebecca was only after money not love Rebecca told him no I love you why are you saying that I want your money I'm not even interested in your money so the guy was like okay i'm going to think about it let's just continue with our relationship rebecca accepted but knowing the guy is going to marry her if it wasn't like that rebecca wasn't going to continue dating that guy so they kept on dating and rebecca tells us after six months they were still doing the same shit <laughs> No marriage, no nothing. So on her birthday in 2013, decided to call the guy and tell him, I gave you an ultimatum and you did not stick to it. I wanted to dump you the day you told me you were married. But I thought because we were good together, you were treating me good, it was going to work out. But now it is clear enough that it's not going to work out. So just let me go. Let us go separate ways and ended the relationship. The guy begged, but Rebecca never wanted to listen. So friends, you are not going to believe this. That is why I told you when I started this story that it has got loads of surprises. <laughs> Yes, because two weeks after Rebecca dumped that guy, do you know what he did? He went to Kenya and engaged another lady. Oh my God. Men or oh men. <laughs> so you imagine if Rebecca accepted to continue the relationship with that guy, he could have only kept on wasting her precious time. 
that's it so guys after that bad experience with that guy rebecca was done with dating apps but i have been telling you guys please don't take it on dating apps it's not the matter of dating apps it's a matter of the person that you encounter on online dating apps and how he behaves. <laughs> so when she found that guy that she ended the relationship, her account was logged off. She did not delete her online dating site. Not at all. So with all that experience, never wanted to go back to on online dating apps. But what she decided to do is dedicate her time to her daughter, spend some quality times with her daughter, take care of herself, love herself, go out with friends, enjoying life. Also decided to go back to school. So she took a break June 2013 till November 2013. That is when she decided to go back to online dating apps because she felt lonely, wanted someone to talk too. remember i told you couldn't go out more often because she is a single mother so the only place she could meet people chat talk and at least reduce her loneliness was on online dating apps so that is why she returned to on online dating apps and then started chatting with different guys so guys while there chatting with different guys met another guy they started chatting everything was going great in a day this guy was like please invite me to your house <laughs> rebecca was like why should i invite you to my house i don't know you well then the guy was like i want to discover how beautiful you are <laughs> so rebecca said oh my god i'm done with these dating sites <laughs> Why I keep meeting these players, people who just want to waste time. <laughs> so she said no and blocked the guy. So because she was very tired about online dating apps, online dating sites, the guys she was meeting told herself right now, I am just only going to chat to make friends that's it because <laughs> even herself due to her experience it was so difficult for her to trust in a guy <laughs> so kept on browsing through men's profile chatting with some just ends there not meeting in person then one day came across this profile of a guy his photo wasn't clear like a straight photo looking to the camera no that guy's photo you could see on the sides so you could couldn't see this very well <laughs> but what caught her attention on that guy's profile he had a bible verse something that sounded very weird and strange to rebecca tells us it was her first time to see a bible verse on a guy's profile <laughs> So she was like, oh my God, is he a pastor? And decided to write to the guy. <laughs> so she wrote to that guy, he was Dutch, <laughs> and asked him, are you a pastor? Because for me, it's the first time to see a guy with a Bible verse. <laughs> then the guy was like, no, I'm not a pastor, but I love talking about God. I'm a Christian and I think people need God in their lives. Rebecca was like, yes, it's true. I am a Christian too. So they started chatting and became very, very good friends. So they kept on sharing things as friends, not goodies. <laughs> no, guys, only things that friends share. No more friends here. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy was a pastor's son. Rebecca tells us they became friends really, really fast. Started chatting the 1st of December, and then towards the end of December, they started having feelings for each other. So guys, cause things were getting intense, then this guy told Rebecca, can we please meet in person? <laughs> Rebecca was like, no, I am not sure. Then the guy was like, I don't bite. <laughs> 
why do you say you are not sure let's meet then rebecca requested for his photo calls she didn't have his photos he sent his photos and she sent her photos to him then they made a video call to see who he is so after seeing him on a video call then she was like okay we can meet but on their first meeting we have a fro cinema <laughs> so guys they set a date for their first meeting and it was supposed to be a dinner date <laughs> a romantic one that's what rebecca imagined in her head but this guy had a son so that day he was so so busy with his son that he didn't make good plans <laughs> for their dinner date took rebecca to a very luxurious restaurant without making reservation and rebecca tells us that luxury hotel you have to call three months before <laughs> before you go but this guy just you know jumped in with rebecca and was like do you have a place for two <laughs> they told him no rebecca felt so embarrassed was so so angry and another thing is that rebecca felt like the guy was shorter why didn't you plan before the time i don't want to ever see you again <laughs> so the guy returned rebecca home and it ended like that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god drama queen <laughs> so guys it was december when everything ended with that guy <laughs> then january came rebecca one time was trying to call her friend and then accidentally <laughs> the call went to that guy <laughs> So the guy picked and Rebecca didn't have anything to say. I was like, what can I say? Okay. So she said, hi, you know, it has been long since we talked. You know, we are good friends. I think we can try again, be good friends. We really had a very good connection. And the guy said, yes, we really had a very good connection. I've never had such connection with any lady. So it's good we become friends. They accepted to be friends, continued to be friends for a while and later on they started having feelings for each other again <laughs> and that's when they decided to fix for the second date so guys january 2014 they fixed for their second dinner date but this time rebecca decided to bring her friend along <laughs> in case she gets bored has got someone to talk to too. so she went for her second dinner date with verna and tells us it was really great even a friend ended up being bored and decided to leave because they were hitting it just good <laughs> they really had that deep deep connection and on that dinner date that is when they kissed <laughs> After the dinner date, Rebecca returned home. They kept on dating and around February 2014, that's when Rebecca shared the goodies. <laughs> yeah. So they kept on dating. Everything was going well and Rebecca tells us it was four years since she met her mother and her family was missing her family very very much talked with verna about it verna felt very very sorry for her told her why can't you go visit and then decided to pay for her flight ticket go visit her family and even went with her so this time rebecca tells us her family had relocated to south africa so when they reached in south africa rebecca told the parents and you know other relatives that verna was just a friend and the reason why she said he was just a friend <laughs> <laughs> it's because they hated white men due to her past love relationship experience so they just treated him as a friend they could joke with him they really liked him very very much but deep inside her heart knew that verna was the boyfriend <laughs> for me i really like this because if you're not sure of the guy or you are not sure of how your family is gonna react better do like that because for them they thought verna was just a tourist 
and Rebecca was just like, you know, a tour guide <laughs> brought him to South Africa to see Africa. <laughs> so they stayed in South Africa for three weeks, then returned together to the Netherlands. Tells us June 2014, that is when Verna proposed to her. She was super happy over the moon. Oh my God, she said yes. <laughs> I also asked her, was he spoiling her? She said he was spoiling her very, very much, showering her with gifts all the time. She managed to get a photo of one of the gifts. It was Swarovski earrings. <laughs> you will see the photo here. So not only that he was spoiling her, <laughs> he was spoiling her with very expensive gifts. So guys, in general, Rebecca tells us he was very, very generous with her and he was really good to her daughter. So guys, after getting engaged, she was forced to tell the parents that she got engaged. <laughs> and after getting engaged, that is when Verna had to pay for the bride price because they started talking about getting married and Rebecca told him about the bride price. He didn't have a problem with it because he was totally in love with her. Anything for you, baby? <laughs> yeah, such kind of a relationship. Oh my God, he's such a kind guy, a very understanding guy. Rebecca added that they are best friends. Guys, if you find a guy and then you become best friends, oh my God, that marriage is going to last, yes. Because with a guy who is your best friend, you can open up, you can tell him anything that you feel like telling him without being scared. How is he going to feel? You know, he's going to judge me. No, 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 no. He is your best friend, so he is going to understand. <laughs> so for the bride price, Rebecca couldn't travel with Verna to South Africa to pay for the bride price. They sent the list for the bride price and Verna bought everything went alone to South Africa to pay for the bride price. And it was very easy for him to go alone cause he knew her family already. <laughs> so when she told the parents that Verna was the fiance, they were like, oh, so he is your boyfriend, not a friend. <laughs> She told them, I knew you guys were not going to accept him because <laughs> you hated white men. They were so happy because they liked Verna from the start. So he went, paid for the bride price. I'm going to be sharing with you the photos here of the bride price. It was really good and it is pure love, guys. Pure love. Because when a man loves you, he can do anything for you. So guys, we have heard he went to South Africa to pay for the bride price for Rebecca. But I know right now you're like, no, something is not connecting Bella. <laughs> How about the guy's side? Did Werner introduce Rebecca to his family? Yes, he did, guys. He introduced Rebecca to his family, but first he introduced Rebecca to the brothers. And this was April 2014 tells us he has got six brothers. He first started with the brothers because with the parents, I've told you he is the son of the pastor and you know this all kind of dating things. <laughs> it was so hard to accept Rebecca in the family, but eventually they accepted her. So guys, let's continue with our story. So the bride price was paid 2014, June, and then he returned to the Netherlands. They kept on with their relationship, everything good, good, and cause she was giving the goodies, they were enjoying the goodies. <laughs> 2015, they got their first daughter. Wow, congratulations to you. <laughs> After getting their first daughter, they were super happy. And then the year after, they planned for the wedding and they got married. Guys, it was such a beautiful wedding. I don't want to talk a lot. I just want to put a video clip here of their wedding so that you can enjoy it. Love is so beautiful. And what I want to tell you who is watching this video, nothing is impossible under the sun. And with God by your side, 
keep praying to him he will bring that right man in your life whether you are a single mother of one two three four five <laughs> you will find the right guy who will love you truly so guys if you have curious questions like me i asked her was your family there on your wedding and where did that wedding happen she told me it was in the netherlands came the father and the brother the mother was denied the visa can you imagine guys i've been telling you interracial dating is not easy it has got lots of challenges you can be so much in love with each other but you can't avoid challenges because that is life guys and when you are an interracial couple oh my god <laughs> challenges 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 you just have to be strong and love each other for real She spent two years and a half on online dating apps till when she found the one. You can see it's not easy. Whether you are in Africa, whether you are abroad already in Europe, in America, it's never easy. God's time is the best. So don't just be there in Africa and be like, oh my God, I wish I was abroad. <laughs> I could have found the guy online because <laughs> even one time there is a lady who told me wanted to pay for her own ticket come here and then search for a man on online dating apps <laughs> I told her girl <laughs> that is the wrong decision if you're coming to enjoy yourself that's okay but if you're coming just for that it might not work out and you will be disappointed it's not easy wherever part of the world you are just keep praying i repeat for god's time i asked her how many dating apps did she try before finding the one she told me tried three dating apps so first dating app that she tried was christian cupid the second is international cupid so guys she gave you lots of tips on online dating apps if you want to find the one i'm gonna be putting her advice here so that you can read it also concerning the length remember didn't like the guy on their first meeting because she thought he was shorter but the truth is the guy was shorter than her heels <laughs> this is so funny guys because when she removed her heels <laughs> she is the shorter one the husband isn't shorter at all so tells you the length is not a problem at all what matters is the heart of the guy he loves you truly better have a shorter boyfriend who loves you and adores you than having a taller handsome boyfriend <laughs> who doesn't love you only wasting your time and i think this is very very correct so friends to the name of the dating app where they met they met on afro introductions guys i've lost even the count of success stories <laughs> from afro introductions 
please stick to afro introductions it works guys trust me just be patient before i forget bella was she paying on afro introductions rebecca tells us no she wasn't paying on afro introductions even that first message that she sent to verna was sure he was going to read it cause verna was paying on afro introductions that is why they were able to communicate so for rebecca was using afro introductions on a free version so dear friends just a reminder rebecca is a content creator don't forget to go and support her on youtube at rebecca's and farm also support her on tiktok you people that are on tiktok for french speaking ladies you will enjoy her content so so much because she speaks french too so you can understand her even more better <laughs> yes so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it you learned a lot if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.